Hey guys, Lenny Bonds here from Purposely Pixel, and today I just received Pixel 6 Pro cases. I received them from Mobile Phone UK, and I'll put a link at the bottom of this video for them and the links for all the cases. This is Lenny Bonds just giving you a little example of what size that Pixel 6 Pro might be. Now I don't have a 6 Pro right now, but what I wanted to show you was the actual differences in size from the 5, 4A, 5G, and Pixel 5A as to what the 6 Pro might look like in terms of length, width, and size. So let me just introduce the cases. This right here is the Elixir Google Pixel Pro case and glass screen protector. It's the Sentinel case. That's that one. We're going to open that up just to see because the 6 Pro has a curved screen. So we're going to check that out to see how curved it is. This right here is the ultra thin Google Pixel Pro case. So it's a clear case. It's really lightweight. You can feel it. It probably won't add the same protection as these other cases. But if you want something thin to slip in the pocket, it's definitely a case that I would look at. This is also a clear case. But you could definitely tell it's a lot thicker and more durable. And this is the Elixir ExoShield Google Pixel Pro case. Definitely you could feel the weight. And this right here looks like a carbon fiber. Again, this is from Elixir. And this is the Elixir Carbon Fiber Pixel 6 Pro case. I don't have the Pixel 6 Pro, but I do have the 5A, 4A 5G, and the Pixel 5A 5G. So what we're going to do is to see how much larger the Pixel 6 Pro is because it's listed as a 6.7 inch screen. So I guess the best way to do that is to open up the clear case, which I'll do right now. And this is the clear case. This is the actual size. So you can see it's significantly larger and wider than the Pixel 5a. We could definitely see that. Now the other two phones, this is a 6.2, this is a 6.34 screen. They're similar in size. The 5A is slightly larger, but let's see how these fit into the case. As you can see, there is a significant amount of space at the top of it, and it seems there is width. It's not much wider, it appears, but there is width left. So that don't fit snug. And that was the 4A 5G. Now we're going to go to the Pixel 5A, the latest device released by Google. And this is a 6.34 inch screen. And again, you could see there's a decent amount of space at the top, right? It just, and the Pixel 6 Pro is definitely going to be a little wider than the Pixel 5A. But as you can see, we have space over here comes out of the case and it actually has about a quarter of an inch of space right here. It's going to be a pretty decent sized phone in terms of length and the width don't seem too bad. This is not a wide phone. This is the Elixir Sentinel case. It's all black, has a nice feel and it has just the cutouts for the camera, the back of the device, the camera and the flash, etc. Previous case I showed you had no cutout so that would be something to keep in mind as we look at it. It just has an opening for all the lenses and flash, etc. I did promise to take out the screen protector. So I'm going to take out this and just to see what type of curve it has. I don't know if you could see it, but it's slightly curved, but nothing drastic. Once we get the Pixel 6 Pro in hand, we could definitely give you a complete rundown. But it does have a slight curve, as you could see, on both ends. Hopefully it's not too bad. I know there's always an issue with curved screens and screen protectors if you use that. This is Lenny Bond from Purposely Pixel giving you a little example of what size that Pixel 6 Pro might be. If you like this video, please smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to us. Keep an eye here for more Pixel news made by Google News. And obviously the upcoming Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro will be covering that also. Thank you.